Morntarn and Sabbath and make a great couple, blah blah blah, blah and blah blah blah. I like how Morntarn sounds. Also the like sound of the like it sounds like a bone necklace or something. I guess it's the skeleton on her bag. I wonder how they made that uh that audio file for her. Like you ever watch behind the scenes stuff on like movies and video games where they, they do the uh what is it called? There's a word for that, like they make the uh the sound effects. Like audio profiling or something. Of course, friend. And then they always use stuff that you don't expect them to use, and then like once you've seen how they make the noise, the next time you hear it you can't not imagine the thing they used to make the noise, and then it ruin it kinda of ruins the immersion, but it's interesting to see how they come up with certain sounds and stuff. She was easy to kill in Witcher 3. Uh, it depends on your level and stuff, right? If you go there too early, she's kind of kind of difficult. Is that even more Tarn that I'm thinking of? Maybe that was just some random Grave Hag or Bill Jags. Not the same though. More Tarn is the one in the church, right? Like the little cemetery. I think that was pretty easy. Anyway, back to Gwent. Um, don't need this. Actually, enough things to copy. Uh, Avalak. I'll kick this. Operator's good. This this is a nice hand. I think this is a nice hand. Uh, what if you try putting more Tart in Freddy Babe's Challenger Swarm deck instead of all geared? Uh, Freddy Babe's Swarm deck runs a lot of tokens, right? It runs Germane Cows and stuff. They're all tokens and they don't go into Graveyard. Me you have to run actual units that actually me. go into the Graveyard. This guy just hit a Freya. I saw a Freya going in there. What the fuck is this? Weird. Bilge reminds me of Below Decks. Yeah, Bilge is like Swamp though, right? I will flop off three heads with one blow. So now we thin. And we put extra bodies on the board to slow down the Vran. <laughs> So I was going to get the uh, the Necker from Marilorn. I could also just Striga the Greatsword away. What is better here? Is he gonna deny my Necker? He might deny my Necker, right? Let's play it safe here. Keep the one backup Necker in hand. You know, in case of Coral and stuff. I think you always coral late, right? I think you do. Uh, Ozzel would come in handy here. Like, real handy. Six bodies already? Yeah, it's pretty good, right? The uh, gold, that's what I put her in for. Like, thinning and bodies is what you want in this deck. And then you can get lacerated. From fucking Dandelion Poet. Holy shit. Uh, Frost Chef, thank you very much for the gifted sub to I Don't Always Pamp Around. Uh, of course, uh, referencing the famous lore line in Gwent the Witcher. The Witcher 3, not Gwen, the Witcher card game, just The Witcher 3. Also, they made that remix to this song, right? It's a really good song. Hope you're glad with the forced sob and uh, spam some emotes. Feels good, Fra, thank you very much. Man, look at all these bodies. We can enable the second round right away. 
I think I'll even put this onto the Necker Warrior. Uh, onto the Necker. How can I help? Can you stop lacerating me, please? Holy shit. Black Tooth old intro was also pamper around. It really sticks out. Like every time you walk into a crow's perch with the, the Baron, the guy standing at the door. I don't know, we're kind of getting wrecked by Coral here. Are you kidding me? What are you doing? Can you fucking... Really? Fuck me. Appearances can be deceiving. Lastry is such a kinky card, especially if you're Skellige and you're on fucking three of them. Also, look at this synergy he's got going on here. This guy's amazing. Who wants to get lacerated again? Me, me, me! I mean, he has to be out now, right? What, is he gonna have another tutor? Modern Freire is patient, but she brooks no insult. Starts playing with a two-point brand. Yeah, also hitting a fucking Freya with him. At least if it, that wasn't bogged, I saw Freya going into the graveyard. Why don't you decoy the Freya though? I will drop off three heads with one blow. What the fuck are you doing? Three neckers, four, five, six, three left in deck. I don't know, he might play Jenga here. Guy doesn't feel like the kind of guy who has a Jenga though, does he? Yeah, that, that's more the kind of guy that he feels like. That's absolutely true. That's what he feels like. That was actually rather impressive. Congratulations. So if I pass here, do I give it to him? I if, I guess I should have played this Necker over here and then I would have always taken it. This was a defensive Necker play. I did not expect the fucking cow. <sighs> okay, so let's assume this is a res, either Sigurdrifa or Freya. Going for a 17 with the heal. He'll take it. I have to play.
Needs more Geralt professional. Dude! Right, this, this, uh, what's this? How did it, how did it go again? This guy talked about it in, in Discord. Like, we had a plan to actually do it. We're totally gonna do that. Geralt fucking professional, right? I mean, people aren't stupid enough to actually do this, but sometimes they are, and then it's really funny. We're totally doing that. It's totally worth it, right? That's so worth it. We're doing that. Alright, so we go to equal cards. He has a million reses with a million points each. I am pretty much out of Neckers. But I'm just playing for Mortarn, right? My Mortarn might beat his Greatsword. Might. Probably not, though. Yeah, I'll play this. So we'll get the last Vran here. And then we'll get the last... Not the last Necker. How many Neckers left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... So two Neckers left. So we only eat once. Alright, so we play everything in front and the Barb Gazi consumes the Necker. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, another gifted? Gifted sub to Mystica? Did that not pop up? I don't remember hearing it, but I might have just missed it because I was talking about how crazy this guy's deck is. Uh, Fra, thank you very much for uh, the gift itself, man. I really appreciate it. Did it pop up now? Or was it the follow of TRS Aphelion? Hey man, how you doing? It's nice to talk to you today, and I'm glad we could uh, get our our trial thing to start going. I don't know if I should talk about what we're, uh, what we're planning yet. I don't know, I probably should, but we'll see. But once again, Fra, thank you very much for the um, the gifting subs. Feel, feels community, man. Feels good. Eighteen is perfect. Ah, oh, it's one too big because we'll consume as well, and then this becomes igni igniable. I'm too old for this shit. Oh, that's a magic. Magic sucks. Of course it's not man. This guy, I like this guy. Who is this man? Have you nothing better to do? Who is this man and how do we get in contact with him? Look at the madman. Triple lash raid and it was actually amazing value. He wrecked my axe, he wrecked my Vran train. Runestone into Grammist. Fucking prize winning cow. Amazing. Amazing. Now this is one point to big, so it plays into Igni. Still got the two of them. Feels decent. GG though. Oh man, Fra, please! Another gifted soul. That's three in a row, man. Fucking hat trick to Patrick Wood. Really appreciate it, man. Also, I hope you guys enjoy the fucking Saint Fra here dishing out subs like the warm sausages. Warm sausages? Warm bread rolls? You know what I'm trying to say, right? Probably a Cambi deck? I don't know. He didn't. He didn't play Hounds now yet. It could have been. 